Hello, my sexy Capricorns. We're going to do your reading for February 2022. I'm so excited. We just did Cancer. Cancer's video turned out really long because I just kept la, 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 talk, 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 talk. So let's see what is going on for you for February 2022, the love month. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. I love comments. I really do. I really know I'm blowing up on Facebook because I'm starting to get spam. Ah, I'm so excited. So um, don't forget, we do use two decks. So I will use this very traditional deck. And then I will switch over to this deck. This deck has curse words in it. If you don't like curse words, I'm not the person for you. Um, and you probably want to click off before that. So I do the clean reading first, and then we're going to go over a couple of new products. I have some new oils coming up and all sorts of good things. And if this reading resonates with you, Capricorn, awesome. Don't forget to check out your moon sign and your ascending sign. I do all of them. That's why it's a good time to subscribe. And if you like this, go ahead and click down below because I have a wonderful store and you can get a personalized reading and personalized work and personalized products. We'll get to know each other. Okay. Ooh, Capricorn on the move, on the move. Okay. So it looks like earlier in maybe late fall, late fall, maybe October, November time period, you had some dust up in the romance department, but it seems like things got back on track. Now you're being kind of impatient. And I get that. I get that. Maybe your partner was supposed to make some changes and they didn't, or you're waiting to see if they make changes, but it literally shows you like, like getting, getting testy, getting kind of like what the fudge. Okay. And you're ready to start a new chapter of life. This could be with work. This could be with romance. This could be with anything, but it seems like this specific person in your life, you're watching and waiting. So I hope they get their SHI took together. Okay. Cause it shows you something happened. I'm going to say definitely in January, um, something happened where you are changing and going on like a different path and you're getting more into your strength. You're getting more into being ambitious, having new goals. You know, maybe you're working out, maybe you're on a new career path, maybe you're going back to school, but you are definitely like going in a different direction. And I'm going to tell you something. If your partner does not catch up, there is going to be issues because yeah, we do have this thing here where you feel, I don't want to say you fall out of love, but there's definitely a not happy, not so much infatuated with this person anymore. And then we get into spring, we get into March, April time period. And there could be, you could start looking elsewhere. You could start having a wandering eye. Okay. Yeah. It says, it says you're getting restless Capricorn. It says you're getting restless. You're ready to go out and do things. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you you feel like you've been given, you want to be given back to, um, so keep an eye on your romance situation here, Capricorn. Um, and it may even be good. I'm not saying that your partner or your specific person is a pain in the butt, but it may even be good to communicate with them. Say, hey, I'm on a timetable here. Like if we're going to do these things, we need to do them, you know, whatever your timetable is in a month, in a year, in a whatever. But I would communicate to them because this looks like this could get real, real quick, okay? So now I'm gonna switch over to, and don't forget, if you have romance problems, that is like what I do a lot of the time. People call me up just freaking out about their relationship, and we, if, hey, any of you out there, I know last week I was busy as heck, and I was fixing a lot of relationship issues. So go ahead and comment down below, okay? Go ahead and comment and tell people how quick I can fix stuff. So now we're going to use the rebel deck. If you don't know about this deck, there's a lot of curse words. So if you don't like curse words, kick off. That's fine. I don't mean kick off like, like, like F off. I mean, like, go ahead and click, click off. I should say click off. But let's see. This is a very modern deck. So let's see. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick three. What does Capricorn need to know for February? What does Capricorn need to know for February? What does Capricorn need to know for February? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying this in the cancer video. Typically, I have two of one color. And I know I have a math degree and I should know the probability on that, but I don't. I don't. Okay. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Okay. I mean, it says you're coming back in your strength and, you know... As much as I love a healthy diet, I'm not going to lie. I may have had a, um, a glass of Coke 
uh, and and some double chocolate Milano cookies for breakfast. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I worked out really hard last night, so it's okay. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. That is exactly on point with this. That is literally what these cards under here were saying. They're like, you know, you're ready to just like... Maybe January was a little fuzzy for you, but February, you're like, okay, this is what my 2022 is going to be. I'm not fucking around. Rebel or rebel. I never know because fuck it. Uh, you know, yeah, you're, you're itching to get out of the stable. You're, you're really looking to change and do big things. So I'm going to tell you something. Your partner came up here, your specific person. This could, you know, if you're not with somebody, it could be your job. It could be a best friend, could be a parent. But you need to let the people around you know, because I'm telling you, you are ready to go. You're ready to go do big things, Capricorn. So big things are going to happen, but you may not like it. So call me. We'll do a reading. We'll get a plan in place for you. I always like to make sure I leave you with homework and, and steps and do this, do this, do this, do this, and a path. Because a lot of times people call me because they're confused. So I clear up that confusion and we get you on the goal that you want. So reading is done. If you want to hang out, I'm going to tell you about some new products we have coming up and some stuff at the store. But if not, you can kick off, click off, whatever you want to call it. So um, I am going back to my root roots and I am doing a final sale on a lot of my oils that are the traditional ones. So I just listed the um, Evil Away oil or Cast off evil, whatever. It says evil in the title. It's the only one says evil. Um, and I'll have links down below. And this is a traditional cast off oil, cast off evil formula, very hoodoo formula for protection. You got a crazy neighbor. You got a crazy ex. You got, you just feel cursed. Get this oil. It is amazing. Um, I have a lot of oils and I, um, because of the economy, because of other stuff, oil sales are not what they used to be. So what I'm doing is the last of my oils, they are in mother jars. Okay. And they've been, percolating for a long time. They're very strong oils. I am just selling off the last of my inventory and they will not be made anymore. Okay. Um, unless demand goes through the roof, I won't be making them anymore. So this cast off evil oil is not going to be a regular at the store. I have like, I think five, I think I have like five. Okay. So get it because then that's it. I'm not making it anymore. Um, only because I want you guys to have fresh, good oils. I don't want to have oil sitting around. That's the only reason why. So then the other reason is Moses oil or the other oil, I should say, not the other reason. The other oil is Moses oil. If you do any magical work, if you do manifesting, if you um, do seals, sigils, um, if you write out petition papers, anything like that, or you want magical knowledge, Moses oil is excellent. This is also good if you're in school. It's also good for making decisions. So I have Moses oil that is listed also. Now, I have a third oil coming out next week, and that is, hold on, I have it right here. Where's my paper? Oh, uh, Bend over oil. Oh, super awesome. Very, very, very traditional hoodoo oil. Bend over oil. It makes people bend to your will. It makes people do what you want. It makes people very compliant. We'll put it that way. Um, you can use it on a specific person. I don't know if I would. You know, it's, it's very powerful. I'm going to tell you that. Um, and I only have a few of those too. All these are just limited edition. Once they're sold out, they're done. They're off the website. They don't, um, you know. Um, the bend over oil makes, uh, let's put it this way. I had an insurance claim a long, long, long time ago, um, for hurricane damage. And, uh, the insurance agent was not having it, not doing it, not going to do it, not going to do it. And I put, they gave me their card. They came out to look at the house. Like hurricane blew my roof off. Right. And like, I don't know what the, pro I don't, you could see it. I don't know what the problem was. So they, uh, so I took the person's card and covered it in essence of bend over oil. Did it, put it underneath a candle. Two days later, I got a call and they reversed their decision without me saying anything. I never called them. I never nothing. I said I was unhappy. That's it. So it works. It, it doesn't just have to be for rom romance situations, can be for work situations. It's very good at work. It's very good if you do a lot of contracts, do a lot of client stuff. So there you go. And don't forget, everything that I do in oil can be done in soap, salt, and spell. So if you need a spell for bending over somebody, let me know and I'll take care of that for you. So thank you for hanging in, Capricorn. It looks like you got a lot of stuff going on this spring, so you might need that. You might need some of this uh, work to get you going. And check out my beautiful store down below. And if you, if this resonated with you, go ahead and get a personalized reading with me and I will 
I'll take care of you. No problem. Have a great day, Capricorn.